after the hunt. You shot the animal, now what? Well, I can tell you from experience, what you don't do is you don't shoot the animal and go after it because it will go, it, it's a drill and will kick in and it will keep going and going. You got to let it go, watch it, see where it goes, let it die, look for blood, blood trail, just like this. Ready, girls? <clears throat> just like this. Ready? Boom. Boom. All right, so we're looking for the blood. I called in I called in some help. We got GBG and Sniper. So we're looking for the blood. We got some blood here and here. She must have laid down right here. There's blood right there. Yeah, she did. She laid down right here. One here, one here, one here, one here. So we're looking for the blood trail. Right here, right here. So we waited about, I, I waited at least 20 minutes, a uh, half an hour before we started looking for the blood trail. So after the hunt, can you give suggestions on field dressing techniques, trials and tribulations surrounding the field dressing process, what's gone well and what you've learned to not do? Well, there's a couple different techniques. Um, the kind I use and most everybody uses around here is uh, you, you cut around, you know, the deer's butthole basically and uh, rectum. And then from there you uh, cut up through the chest. That's one reason why I bring that bone saw because I like to cut through the pelvic bone. Um, and I also like to cut through the ribs up to the throat and spread the chest let the air in there and um what i basically do is i'll reach up in the esophagus as far as i can grab it and cut that and everything should just pull out right there now some people like uh, my hunting partner who does things his own way um likes to do the opposite he likes to start at the top and work its way down um Whatever works for you, um, I would say follow the instructions the way most people do it, you know, until you really understand the anatomy of the deer. Um, it would take me a couple of minutes to get a deer, though I know a guy that I watched do it in like 25 seconds. It was just amazing um, <laughs> to see Gary do that. It was just impressive. Um, so. Speaking of that, what do you do right when you find the deer as far as processing and what do you do when you get back to the first, cabin or your home the base? The first thing I do is I lay my hand on the animal and I thank it for its sacrifice. I, I thank you for its giving of its life. I think the most important thing is you got to appreciate what you hunt. Once that's all done, uh, we like to hang it for for at least a couple of hours, and we'll hang it by its neck, uh, by the head up, and then let it drain a little bit. But when it comes time to butcher, we'll invert it. We'll hang it from its its hind legs up with the head down. That way, we can just start uh, pulling the hide off from the top, and we get down to the the neck area with pulling the hide down. Then we can just cut the the neck and head off. Then I like to uh, Take out, if I haven't taken out the loins already, I take them out. Back straps are, to me, the most important piece of meat, so I like to take those out first off. Um, and then um, start with the shoulders. Take care of the shoulders, you know, usually the front ones because they're lower, and then go up to uh, the bigger ones. Now, it all depends on what you want to do. Some people would do stuff with the ribs. There's really not in my eyes much use for doing stuff with the venison ribs or anything but um i like to quarter the deer i guess after the back straps are out and then i like to take it put it in a cooler bring it home and then i can spend a couple of hours you know doing the various cuts of meat after that so how do you store the deer on the trip home have you used game bags ice coolers anything like that I have a red cooler specifically for bringing back the deer in once I quarter it. But if it's a, a big deer, 
once you quarter it and everything and put it in little baggies, you usually keep a couple, you know, freezer bag things in there, put a thing of ice on top and it'll be fine to bring home. What is your process upon returning home and any organization along with that? Get a couple cookie sheets out, get a big cutting board. I usually like to switch to a flay knife at times for some of the stuff and make sure the wife and the dog is not in the room. Very smart. Okay. And then what are your favorite recipes?